Poland uh, and uh, to our channel viewers I want just to say shortly that uh, conference, scientific practical conference here in Sielce in Leymantovka uh, House of Creative Work Leymantovka is going on and uh, in the frame of this conference we uh, decided to give a short uh, conversation, short interview with our colleague uh, Elena Regieva from North Macedonia. It uh, sounds uh, quite interesting because this is country by far away from, for example, from Lithuania, not from Poland. It's one of Balkan, uh, Balkan country in Balkan region. And uh, now it's previously was uh, common, common state, Yugoslavia. And uh, after, after some uh, period of time, this country divided into many, many different countries. And uh, for us, it's like, uh, at some extent, it's a terra incognita. Extent and it would be nice to know more about about your country, about education system in general, and uh, obviously about you. And uh, Professor Elena uh, represents University of Information Science and Technology, the Saint Paul the Apostle in Ohrid, North Macedonia. So can you shortly add something about <laughs> you, about your university? Uh, yes, you're right. Macedonia was a part of the bigger country Yugoslavia, who fell apart on six, seven countries. <clears throat> we are now independent, and it's really far from here, but uh, the thing is that the world is global, one global village, and uh, can you imagine we met each other two years ago and now we met in person? Two years ago was COVID situation, uh, strict restrictions because it was the beginning of COVID. But now we have opportunity to meet. Uh, we have, we had. And uh, also I met Anna uh, in the CIPUS network coordination meeting. So actually, there are opportunities, we should just use them. Uh, I, yes, I come from the University of St. Paul the Apostle, which is uh, placed in the city of Ohrid. The, the sounds, uh, sounds quite interesting. Is it uh, just uh, a name? Uh, I mean, St. Paul the Apostle, or, uh, or is it, for example, Catholic? Uh, no, St. Paul the Apostle is uh, from early Christianity period. Uh, he was the one who brought Christianity uh, in Europe first, from Israel, and uh, he started from Macedonia, and the first Christian person in, in Europe was Lydia from Macedonia. Uh, that, that's what uh, uh, we know, uh, and he was sent by, by the Lord probably, St. Paul, go to Macedonia, give them the Orthodox religion, something like that story from the Bible. Um, the university is new, only 13 years. It's a specialized university for information science and technologies and it is specific that it is unique in Macedonia with um, official language English. So all our lectures are in English. It started as an inter international one. We had teachers from all over the world and students, but I don't know, from some reasons uh, those foreign students are reduced and uh, we have very few now. Uh, about the educational system... Yeah, but, sorry, but it is uh, state university, isn't it? It is state university, okay. yes. About the educational system, we have um, primary school with nine grades secondary school with four years of study, of study and um, high school which is usually three or four years of undergraduate studies and plus two or plus one for graduate studies. Um, there were many uh, new things in, in, the, uh, in the primary school but not, um, not how to say adopted to the secondary school stage so uh, I, I feel that uh, that is a kind of disadvantage of our educational system uh, primary school and secondary school are not synchronized secondary school 
keeps the higher level, but the students from primary school who already uh, got some simple programs, some simple courses, cannot follow good uh, secondary school. I'm not uh, in the educational mathematics, so I know these facts only from as a parent, only as a parent, not from scientific perspective, uh, because actually I'm a mathematician who works in uh, mathematical research related to dynamical systems, differential equations. You mean like pure science? Pure, pure science, yes. Not didactics. No. Not didactics, but as I met the people in this conference, including Hume, including Professor Anna, Professor Angela, and many others, Professor Corteshi, also I would like to mention him. You know him probably yeah, from, yeah, yeah, yeah. from Mishkols. And uh, somehow I started to touch this field, educational mathematics, and uh, maybe I will continue with that. I mean, maybe not all, but, uh, but there, there are nice opportunities, yeah. nice, uh, nice new possibilities knowing all of these people. All based, uh, based on our, uh, on your, let's say, experience, uh -huh. I also want to say shortly, for example, our project, uh, current project, uh -huh. Bridge to Teach, is also one part is let's say, connected with mathematics, because we're preparing math, bridging course for math and science. And, uh, Those are bridging courses yes. between? Uh, it, the idea is to uh, to feel like it's written here, the main name of a project is to develop, test, revise, finalize and disseminate materials for bridging course. Mm -hmm. It means to fill a gap between secondary school level and what is required at university, at university. At university level. Because, uh, for example, different students and the universities different. with different background, with different initial preparation, and some of them feel a uh, really big gap. Mm -hmm. uh, or in general, it exists big gap between secondary school and the higher education university. Maybe we, we would and, need uh, this between primary and secondary. Sure, and yes. what was interesting that this uh, project was initiated and currently is coordinated by mathematicians. Oh. Uh, it's the University of Vienna in Austria and the Faculty of Mathematics is responsible with it, uh -huh. as an institution for this project. And uh, remembering our discussions, for example, uh, in the background and uh, when we wanted to explain our rational of this project, uh, the uh, main, main point was that uh, previous courses uh, obviously exist, different bridging courses in different universities, different experience, but mainly prepared by pure mathematicians <laughs> or pure science, uh, science uh, scholars, scientists, scientists uh -huh. I mean, uh, uh, from chemistry, from biology or physics area, etc., but not uh, no didacticians or educators involved, uh, not only, uh, let's say, from universities, but also from schools, uh, as, uh, in order to, to involve practice, in the school practice, etc. And currently this uh, project is striving to, uh, to reflect this, this, mm -hmm. this idea. So, uh, I, I would say that it would be interesting for you, possible to, to, to get more familiar with this project. Yes. Uh, later on I will give you some, some materials and then yes, possible I would, I would for the next project because our team currently uh, somehow we are working on, on a new vision, on a new idea how to, to, to go further let's say because we implemented already two projects uh, somehow related to mathematics, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but science and mathematics. Mm -hmm. Good. I, I would be happy to know more yeah. about and, this. Uh, oh, oh, you see, it's <laughs> <laughs> common, common interest, um, yeah. and uh, really it would be nice to enlarge uh, cooperation and also our contacts. And um, uh, you mentioned about university that it's a really new university. Yes. Uh, and is it big? Or not no, big? very small. Very small. We have 500 students in total. 500, 500 in total. Yes. Even it should be called at most faculty, but only one department <laughs> might be called, but you know, the city of Ohrid, where the, the faculty, is, uh, the university is placed, is a small city of 35,000 people. Uh, our capital has the biggest part of the students uh, at, the, at the oldest university, 
so it's about 40,000 students and in last years many of our students, especially the, the good ones, uh, go to study in foreign countries. That's, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, to, yes. to mention because uh, Mas North Macedonia, sorry, because it not uh, recently, let's say, it reduced or, or you made some changes, I mean, stay, uh, as a state. Yes, it, those changes it was are just Macedonia, it was clear. It was and Macedonia now and they changed the name against the will of the people. No one calls. No one from Macedonia calls the name North yeah, Macedonia, like believe it. me. <laughs> it was against the will of the people and I will never say that, believe but, but, uh, me. Anyway, I have anyway. to, I have to, I have to write, <laughs> anyway, but officially I will never say it. North, North Macedonia, <laughs> uh, but it's uh, as a small country, obviously it's a small oh, yes, country, it's surrounded small. By, by bigger countries like, yes. like Bulgaria, like other countries. And uh, do you feel, for example, some influence or in, uh, in, in the higher education? Yeah, in higher education sector, for example. Uh, well, mainly our uh, high school students, when they, when they want to enter the university, uh, mainly they go further. Slovenia has a lot of Macedonian students, Germany, uh, I think those two countries the most, but also in Romania, they study in Romania. Maybe in Bulgaria also, but not uh, many in Serbia or Greece or Albania, no. Uh, even in the United States we have many in Great Britain. What do you think, what is the main, let's say, motivation or main argument? Well, the main, the main motivation is, uh, no, they, they just want to, to live in another country. This one. They just want to move from Macedonia because we have low standard. I think that is the main reason. Uh, you mean uh, living standard? Or living standard. Living standard, living standard yes. And possibly it's connected and also it, uh, with quality of education, <coughs> quality of study. Uh, I think not, not much with the quality, but mainly, uh, maybe uh, even if they don't want to move to another country to live, but uh, the student, uh, the time of being student is very convenient to, to travel and to get visa so they would study abroad uh, and they can come back later or they will stay uh, but that is the period because we need visa I mean not for for tourist for tourist tourist visits but for working as we are not uh, European Union members uh, so we it, it goes difficult to go in some other way in a foreign country. Is uh, it is much easier when you are a student, and especially when you study there. And uh, for example, uh, do you have, as a state, for example, that maybe has some policy, for example, how to motivate students, how to attract them to yeah. to be to study to, to study, study in our their, native country. Not, uh, not to I go. think that there is no policy. There is no some special plan to keep the young people there. Although whenever some new government uh, has a campaign, 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 campaign uh, they always say we will keep the young people here, we will keep them, but uh, when they come to govern the country, they do nothing about the young people. And uh, my next question is uh, somehow connected with our discussion. Uh, obviously, you represent mathematics uh, in this field. What about motivation to study to learn mathematics, for example, secondary school level <coughs> or uh, later on uh, at university? Because uh, based on our project experience, for example, because also some countries involved, like Italy, like <laughs> Austria, as I mentioned, uh, Lithuania, Czechia, Slovakia, and uh, uh, despite that, all are European countries. Uh, they are so different. They are so different, and uh, uh, let's say different, different uh, situation. Uh, what relates with motivation, for example, uh, just for example, in Austria also, uh, they uh, announcing this, let's say, gap and the low, low interest about uh, the mathematics. Yeah, about mathematics. <laughs> what for in me, Macedonia? Ma mathematics was the easiest, the easiest it's, subject. It's of for you, oh, but yes, for me. <laughs> Uh, I, I must say that I just read in a, in a paper uh, 
um, like Gauss said that uh, mathematics is the queen of the sciences. Uh, this is a citation. But unfortunately, students are afraid of that queen. <laughs> and yeah. that is sure. that I, is just I, I, I remember the one uh, very nice book written by, uh, now I forgot the name of the author, the writer, but the uh, book uh, uh, is translated in Italian language, but possibly in other languages. Uh, uh, it's describing this Gauss life, and, and Humboldt and Gauss life at the time as two scholars, two. Famous. famous and at the same time different scholars because Gauss represents mathematics and uh, Humboldt represents uh, science. And uh, this book, uh, at least in the Italian language, the title is Measurement of the World. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, very, very interesting, uh, interesting book uh, and written in a very, in a very nice manner. And, and to, uh, just to go back to your question, Probably I had good teachers in mathematics because uh, to love mathematics means to have a good guide that will take you through the mathematical knowledge on some under understandable way. Yeah, uh, but, yeah, but it's uh, uh, I would say this is so common. It's <laughs> a classical uh, example because, uh, for example, in my case, the same. Why I decided to study chemistry and biology? Because uh, your teacher, uh, yes, my teacher was yeah. so let's say excellent, brilliant person, etc., etc. And it was no another idea, let's say generally speaking. And uh, as you say, it's the same. I think in majority of cases. Uh, but mathematics is really a specific uh, course, which depends. I think more than other courses on the teacher. But okay, what to do, for example, uh, based on your opinion, in order to increase motivation? Because uh, according to your opinion of students, uh, it's difficult, it's complex discipline. Why do we need mathematics? We have modern technologies right now, for example, uh, uh, iPhones, yes. uh, robots, <laughs> You know, everything. especially now where this is difficult to motivate students because they will open their mobile phone, they will open their tablet, uh, tablet and they will get anything in a minute. They will press the button and, and they will get what they want. Uh, but when you study, especially mathematics, you need to study regularly, so every day, to do your homework. No, not much studying is needed, but it, uh, mathematics requires a regular, continuous studying, uh, the continuous writing of the homeworks and listening to the teacher. And children nowadays, I think they, they lost that, uh, that characteristic of their personality. To, to do something regularly, um, to say, with devotion. They would write uh, their homework today, but tomorrow they will forget and they will, maybe they will write it in five minutes without, just to have that, just to have it. And um, that's not the way how you should treat mathematics. So uh, I really don't know what's, uh, it's, it's about uh, preparing good teachers in educational uh, institutions. You mentioned a very, very burning issue, teacher education or yes, teacher uh, preparation. That is How one to prepare thing. a good teacher and what does it mean a good teacher? A good teacher, a good teacher means uh, to have knowledge of the course but also love for the kids understanding for the kids, for their way of learning uh, and maybe, uh, maybe we need the best students in the uh, educational schools. The it's best. not the case, usually it's not the it's case. It's not the case, uh, it's not the case. Uh, maybe be, the be. government should motivate them with, with some scholarship. Yeah, quite often uh, students in you know, educational study programs, let's say not so brilliant or not on the top. And yes, that's true, that's true. Let's say, in general, this material yes. is quite hard and yes. quite diverse and, and it's not so easy during four, let's say, but I think it's four years to prepare a good teacher uh, yes. who is able to reflect, for example, uh, current lifestyle, current situations, etc. And not only possible, not only the pedagogical quantum knowledge, uh, 
uh, is important, also but also subjects. Subject, subject yes, knowledge. Yes. Subject knowledge. Uh, and to, but even if we have prepared teachers, well prepared, uh, it's difficult to keep the attention of, uh, of the kids. And that, that's my opinion. And for example, uh, it would be <coughs> interesting uh, just to talk about system, how uh, teacher preparation system in your country. What model do they use? I don't think that the model has been changed for years. So it's an old-fashioned model like uh, um, not, not specific preparation of teachers. They, they, okay, but uh, for example, mathematics teachers, uh, pre-service teachers, how they are preparing? Just they starting, uh, just they learning only mathematics, for example, some some period of uh, time, uh, and after that, for example, pedagogical studies plus uh, pedagogical studies. Yes, uh, for for the teachers that uh, will be at the level of primary school, uh, they have uh, uh, more of those didactic courses, didactical educational courses. Uh, after high school, they're only maybe four didactical courses, uh, also psychology, uh, but the remaining part is only mathematics. And for example, what degree are they obtained after? Um, uh, the uh, professor bachelor. of a uh, bachelor degree, yeah. professor of mathematics. But bachelor in what? In a bachelor in mathematics, yes. And plus teacher qualification. Uh, yeah, uh, bachelor, uh, Because, for uh, example, uh, I, I bachelor in mathematics uh, and extra explanation mathematics teacher. Something like, I, I'm uh, seeing about um, uh, those who who have uh, the level of the high school teachers. Mm -hmm. For those which are, I think, um, I don't know yeah. what is it, but. Maybe it's um, another word, because we have different word for teacher in primary school uh, than teacher in high school, which I can't translate because in English, uh, yeah, I'm asking maybe we would rather call it professor f uh, for high school, uh, and, uh, different than professor, university professor, university teacher. And this we would call teacher, I would translate teacher uh, until the level of uh, primary school. Because, uh, for example, in Lithuania and in some other countries, it's quite common, and uh, this model currently prevails that uh, it's preparing for fewer professionals, uh -huh. mathematics, etc. We're receiving a proper degree, for example, bachelor in chemistry, bachelor in biology, or bachelor in, in, in mathematics, and uh, plus uh, pedagogical studies. Uh -huh. Usually one year, 60 credits plus, in order to obtain uh, professional qualification as a teacher. Mm -hmm. This is, generally speaking, one model. Another model that uh, from just from the first year, uh, he or she is studying pedagogical study program. Mm -hmm. And in this case, uh, after, I think that's better. Yeah, after yes. generally four years in some cases, possible three and a half, or a little bit more. Uh, receiving a uh, bachelor degree in social sciences education, mm -hmm. social science education, and uh, including let's say, this professional qualification as a teacher. Mm -hmm. No additional studies are needed. Mm -hmm. Obviously, except if uh, it's preferable to continue the master level, so, uh, it's quite, quite okay. Uh, the majority of students continue uh, to continue at master level, but uh, also, it could be mastered in the social science education, not in the same fields, pure discipline. This is different, different models. But uh, anyway, this is really a burning issue in, in many countries because uh, we're discussing with many colleagues from different mm -hmm. countries, and every time, uh, at some extent, we are speaking about teaching education. But I believe that it's not easy to to be a teacher nowadays of younger students. Yeah, it's, it's really it's, it's so complicated, yes. so complicated. Yes. Uh, 
they may Position. give their best, but again, um, they will not uh, make it. Uh, they will not make what they have planned. And, okay, and some some more questions. Um, uh, it was uh, it's, it's quite interesting about teacher teacher's profession. Mm -hmm. Is it is it attractive, popular, prestigious? In North Macedonia, no, or, rather or not, rather different. not, because um, the salaries in um, state uh, companies are very low. Uh, teachers in primary school they get 400 euros, in secondary school maybe 450, 750. Uh, at university level, 600 to 700 euros. So that's not attractive, even for. Um, university level. Our best students would rather go to companies. I mean, as I'm teaching in, in a university uh, of information science and technologies, they would rather go in the companies. As a beginner, they would have higher, higher salary than mine. <laughs> and with years, they would, uh, yes, that yes, would grow. Uh, because it's interesting, uh, interesting question. That, for example, we have uh, we can mention as an example, for example, South, South Korea, mm -hmm. uh, where a teacher is uh, very highly valued, mm -hmm. uh, or in Europe, for example, Scandinavian countries in general, and in particular, for example, Finland, Finland educational system, the teacher in Finland, in Finland is really prestigious mm -hmm. position, and the situation is different. And for example, in Kenya, uh, it's interesting because some years ago, as a national idea, one of the national ideas was some discussion, large discussion in society, in public, uh, where teacher should be as one of the prestigious profession mm -hmm. uh, during some period of time, and this is like strategical, yes. strategical goal. Uh, we will see, I possibly we will achieve, but at least uh, like a, how to say, like a direction for, for our uh, for our state. Uh, because we need really also, we need uh, we should understand first of all, we should accept this policy that really we need uh, the best teachers. And, but it's not just the words if you want to have such. Yes. Yeah, we need to invest. Yes. We need to invest uh, from different uh, aspects, from different positions, not only material resources, but also human resources. I absolutely agree with you. I, I would think the same. Yeah. Uh, Thank you very much, Elena. Thank you it very was much. really nice. Uh, our short communication, but nevertheless, it was fruitful, I hope. And uh, possible, we will meet somewhere, sometime in the future. And uh, we will enlarge our discussions, and maybe we will have more in common uh, to discuss. And it's, it's really, 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 really nice. I wish you a big success in your academic life, in your academic career, and uh, generally for North Macedonia. <laughs> and uh, keep well and safe. Thank why, you very much. Why do you insist North Macedonia? Thank you very much as well. I, it was also my pleasure to, to meet you and to, to talk to you. Really. Good luck. <laughs>